uh, explain a little more of this program and how it has been uh, offered and then get into the first um, the first section of this program, the first module, which is about life clarity. So today, after um, getting to know more about the program itself and the steps that we can include in our day-to-day -day life to make our life uh, happier and more balanced, we will speak about life clarity and how to assess it in our in all um, the fields of our life. So um, health, uh, wealth, family, relationships, love and sexual relationships, um, and also career and the life purpose. We will um, look at all these um, items in your life and see how they can be improved and give some insights and maybe power words, uh, even mantras to just um, reassess each of these um, fields of your life and maybe see what you can adjust and uh, improve in them. But not before I share more about the Luscious Lifestyle program that I love so much. The Luscious, uh, the Luscious Lifestyle program has been uh, offered by Mother Mary and channeled through Just Muheen. Um, as um, any of the Ascended Masters are now um, interested and uh, have always been interested in um, helping and uh, sharing their insights and teachings uh, for the harmonization of this planet and uh, the humanity, uh, each of the Ascended Masters has offered uh, one of the steps of this program. So um, we will start with uh, the two introductive sessions which are about life clarity and relationships. Um, and then we will get into the, the program as it is uh, channeled uh, from these Ascended Masters. The first step of the program, the first insight, the first tool we talk about is uh, um, self-awareness and some call it meditation. Uh, this has been offered or recommended by all the eight masters participating in this program. So all of them have agreed that self-awareness and self-observing um, uh, or meditation is a good uh, spiritual or personal development technique uh, for the health and harmony of each and every uh, living being. As um, Meditation practitioner for many years, I also recommend it with all my heart. I've been um, amazed and I am amazed every day uh, by how meditation can actually change the reality I'm in um, with every moment. I exist now in a reality that is so fluid and um, so um, easy to refine just by going within and um, looking at uh, what I've created and maybe what I want to create next and uh, or maybe adjust in my life. So uh, I try to always be conscious and um, aware of, um, of the impact I have um, upon myself and others with the thoughts and emotions that I experience and that is also meditation or self-awareness observing yourself seeing what you create seeing what you give your attention to seeing what where your mm, energy is uh, flowing to is very important each and every moment of your life so this is what i also recommend with all my heart the second step of the program called prayer or um, quantum field communion for those who don't pray to a particular god goddess spiritual entity uh, we talk about the communion with the universal field or the quantum field or the universal energy which all of you all of us know it exists 
The second workshop, the second step of, of uh, this uh, program is uh, therefore about how to get more in contact with this life energy, this life source, this source of guidance that is actually speaking for all of us, but uh, many pay attention to it, but many don't pay attention to it. And there is just a little fine-tunement, a little refining, refinement needed in order to just hear its messages with clarity so the prayer the prayer or quantum field communion communion has been recommended by Kuan Yin which is the goddess of compassion in Asia she has recommended it as a, a tool for harmonization and uh, realignment to the energy that is guiding us and feeding us at all times. The third step, which is very important to each and every one of us, is mind mastery. Uh, as uh, we master our mind, we master our reality and the things we create or experience in this world. Many of us say that the reality is created by your own thoughts and beliefs, and I also think and um, I also trust this with all my heart. So when I share about my mind mastery, I will also share uh, from a very profound and sometimes troubling experience with mind mastery that I've also had. The mind mastery uh, tool is uh, recommended by Saint Germain, who has actually been a master of alchemy and um, focus. He, he is a being of, of such great uh, power and intensity when it comes to transforming reality through thought. So it is the most uh, appropriate guide to to share uh, of this, um, this uh, personal or spiritual development step. The fourth uh, step of the Luscious Lifestyle program is readjusting the diet or lightening up the diet, which is uh, very important as well as vegetarianism is very important for the health of our body, but also for the emotions and uh, thoughts that we experience. Uh, as many of you know, we are very, um, some, some say we are what we eat. I would very much like to believe it's, it is not so, but we are imprinted or impacted by the food we intake. And the lighter it is, the more light we have within us and the lighter uh, and um, more focused our mind is, uh, the um, more, uh, joyful and peaceful our uh, emotion are so it is very important that our food is healthy and um, really light in these times because the energy on the planet is so strong that everything that is not of light within our body gets challenged and um, many of you have pains in the body or discomfort of or bloated stomach or other reactions to food these days and it's better that you pay we all pay attention to what we uh, choose to intake because um, our bodies become more and more sensitive to to energy and to food and to all that and we'll share more about this in in our workshop about uh, diet but um, just for you to know this step has been recommended by Buddha which, uh, as uh, we know, is, is a being of great compassion and uh, he has um, strongly recommended us to, at some point, get to vegetarianism in, or in order to really be able to master our mind and emotions and not to have so much, um, so much uh, discord in, our, uh, in, uh, in your lives. The next step is um, about the importance and attentions we, uh, attention we give to our body. It's called treating the body as a temple or honoring the body with the um, 
with the um, exercise that it needs, with uh, um, maybe um, pampering uh, tools that we can use, a spa session, whatever it needs, and really uh, enjoying our bodies and respecting and honoring our bodies as the house of our uh, spirit, uh, which they really are. So many of uh, many people don't acknowledge or pay attention to their body. They just feed it however they cho they um, they l learn. They don't exercise so much. They don't pay attention to even the way they dress or the cosmetics they put in. But the body is very sensitive now and it's very important that we have a um, healthy and um, honored body uh, it is also important for our mind and emotions and how we channel the energies that um, go through us these days so honoring of the body has been uh, recommended by babaji who um, some of you know that has lived in his body for many 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 thousands of years so he is really a good representative of how to master and honor the human body and preserve it in a very, very um, special way. Another important step in our life harmonization and lifestyle harmonization is uh, the service we do and how we serve others, how we serve life. Some call this workshop selfless service. Uh, so just doing something for someone because we can, just doing something, something for someone open-heartedly without expecting anything in return can bring us great joy and uh, really, um, a really spiritual leap um, in our lives and the gifts we give always return to us some way or another. So. Having the ability to find uh, new and uh, smart ways of serving without uh, expectations are, is, can also be a talent and um, a gift and uh, the selfless service can uh, have many forms. We will share more about this uh, in the workshop that is uh, dedicated to the theme. But I can tell you from my experience that selfless service has brought immense gift to my life and um, a real joy of feeling resourceful in ways that I would have never thought I am. The selfless service is recommended by the Christed, the Christed Energy and the Christed Master. Also, we have in our program some workshop and insights about the importance of silence and the importance of the communion with nature. We know that nature is a very good um, shelter for us. We can go in nature and find our balance, find our peace, feel more relaxed. Um, and many of you, after a vacation or a little time in a park, feel like they have shed some, some, some big weight off their shoulders. Because nature does that. It really lifts up all our weights and all our worries. And it just imbues us with the most, um, the purest and most daring uh, energies of, of uh, of uh, fresh air and beauty and sunshine and uh, all that beautiful uh, energies that planet earth has now so time in nature is a great gift and time in silence in nature is a great gift and we uh, will share more about silence and its gifts and how it opens and cleans our energy centers in the workshop dedicated to it uh, this has been recommended uh, f uh, by St. Francis, who we all know has tuned very deeply with nature and its beings and has 
the ability of communing with animals and understanding their thoughts and feelings as well as um, getting them to understand his thoughts and feelings very well so that degree of communion with nature is maybe what we want to achieve the next step would be about music and its benefits and this has been recommended by mother mary as well as the angels music is as we all know a very simple and uh, yet so powerful tool of harmonizing when you come home maybe tired or agitated after a day's work we find it it's so easy to tune ourselves in um, to a peaceful rhythm with some relaxing music um, but in this workshop we will also share about the powerful effects of uh, different kinds of using music maybe chanting maybe mantras maybe Uh, Tibetan bowls or other tools that uh, deal with the sound and sound sensibility and I will share some of my uh, experience with it but may, much more um, will be shared from what I channeled from the masters offering it. Music is so important and so easy to use as we are all um, more than 70% water and water is so imprinted by sound and uh, words. So this is basically the, the Luscious Lifestyle program in a nutshell. Uh, we learn about simple but powerful tools of personal harmonization and spiritual harmonization. We learn about how to tune ourselves easier, more easily uh, to the vibration of harmony and um, happiness and to uh, more positive energies as some call them uh, into this day-to-day uh, -day life without paying too much effort because actually the greatest benefit of this program is that it's actually effortless we had asked for and received um, the representatives of the embassy of peace has uh, asked uh, for and received the most um, simple and achievable recipe for the humanity in order to be really effort free and everybody could tune into it and practice it at home or at work or while driving or while cooking or in other day-to-day -day activities even for those who say that they don't have time for spiritual or personal development so i hope you enjoy this and i hope that with all um, my heart i will share this in in uh, balance and harmony with all of you and may that may it be that all that need us and all that need uh, the programs that we offer uh, tune in to them um, easily with joy and ease and grace and find us at the right moment in the right place 